Sermons, Seven Negro Sermons in Verse, is a book of poetry written by James Baldwin Johnson, author of the hymn, Lift Every Voice and Sing. Drawing from the insights and sounds of his childhood, James Baldwin Johnson sought to capture the passion and persuasive artistry of what he called African-American folk sermons. The author named this work God's Trombones because he thought that trombones, above all other instruments, represented the broad range of emotions expressed through human voice. Similarly, this beautiful work of literature gives a deep range of African-American voice and spirituality. Each Wednesday in February, one of our African-American clergy persons in the diocese will perform a rendition of one of the sermons in God's trombones. The purpose of this is to highlight the magnificent tradition of black sermonic oratory and literature, and also to celebrate the unique texture of African-American spirituality that helps us to understand the journey of a people who have come this far by faith. May this series inspire you, deepen your own commitment to racial reconciliation, and broaden your awareness of God's love for all people that together we can lift every voice and sing. Listen, Lord, a prayer by James Weldon Johnson. O oh Lord, we come this morning, knee bowed and body bent before thy throne of grace. O oh Lord, this morning, bow our hearts beneath our knees and our knees in some lonesome valley. We come this morning like empty pitchers to a full fountain with no merits of our own. O oh Lord, open up a window of heaven and lean out far over the battlements of glory and listen this morning. Lord, have mercy on proud and dying sinners sinners hanging over the mouth of hell who seem to love their distance well lord ride by this morning mount your milk white horse and ride this morning and in your ride ride by old hell ride by the dingy gates of hell and stop poor sinners in their headlong plunge <laughs> And now, O oh Lord, this man of God, who breaks the bread of life this morning, shadow him in the hollow of thy hand, and keep him out of the gunshot of the devil. Take him, Lord, this morning. Wash him with hyssop inside and out. Hang him up and drain him dry of sin. Pin his ear to the wisdom post and make his words sledgehammers of truth, beating on the iron heart of sin. Lord God, this morning, put his eye to the telescope of eternity and let him look upon the paper walls of time. Lord, turpentine his imagination. Put perpetual motion in his arms. Fill him full of the dynamite of thy power. Anoint him all over with the oil of thy salvation and set his tongue on fire. And now, O oh Lord, when I've done drunk my last cup of sorrow, when I've been called everything but a child of God, when I'm done traveling up the rough side of the mountain, oh, Mary's baby, when I start down the steep and slippery steps of death, when this world begins to rock beneath my feet, lower me to my dusty grave in peace to wait for that great getting up morning. Amen. <laughs> 